If you're new to Assetto Corsa on PC, then you must have Content Manager and Custom Shaders Patch. Especially if you're interested in adding new cars or tracks to your game, or using post-processing filters to make your gameplay look photorealistic. In fact, for this video, we're only going to be scratching the surface of the full list of features that Content Manager and Custom Shaders Patch bring to the game, and there's absolutely no reason why anyone should be running Assetto Corsa without them, especially since they are free. Before we get into the installation steps, let's talk a bit about what exactly is Content Manager and Custom Shaders Patch. Well, in short, Content Manager is a custom launcher for Assetto Corsa with a clean, simple user interface to manage all of your Assetto Corsa content, such as cars and tracks. However, the single most important feature of Content Manager is that Custom Shaders Patch can be installed directly from within it. In fact, most modern mods will actually require CSP in order to function properly, so it's definitely a must-have in my view. Now that you have a basic understanding of what they do, let's jump straight into the installation process. The first step is to download Content Manager. Because Content Manager is an .exe file, make sure you only download it from trusted sources to avoid stuff like viruses or trojans. My preference is to get it directly from the creator's website over at acstuff.ru. Click on Content Manager and under the download section, there's a link where you can download the zip file directly. Extract the folder in wherever it is you saved it to. For me, I find it useful to have Content Manager on my desktop, so I'm just going to drag it there. Open up Content Manager for the first time and you should see that it would have auto-populated the location of your Assetto Corsa root folder, which is the folder that you have Assetto Corsa installed. But if it doesn't find it for some reason, you can locate it easily yourself by going into Steam, right click on Assetto Corsa, Properties, Local Files, and click on Browse. The window that pops up is going to be your Assetto Corsa root folder. Since we're here, let's have a look at the folder structure of Assetto Corsa. There's going to be a bunch of folders, but the one that you're going to use the most is the content folder. In this folder is where you'll find all your cars as well as all your tracks. If you wanted to manually install any downloaded car or track, you can usually just drag and drop the folder containing the mod into either the cars or the tracks folder, depending on what it is you downloaded. Just make sure that you extract or unzip the mod before you do so. So for example now, let's say that you want to remove a car that you've previously installed. It's as easy as finding the respective folder for the mod and just deleting it off. Doing this is going to save you tons of hard disk space as you go down the rabbit hole of Assetto Corsa mods. Back to our Content Manager window and you should see your Steam ID automatically filled in, which Content Manager uses for online races. Key in your name that you want other people to see, don't leave it on the default name, and below that you'll see a bunch of plugins that you can choose to install. A number of mods actually use 7-zip, so I'd recommend to go ahead and install that plugin which will allow you to drag and drop any 7-zip archive into Content Manager, and Content Manager should automatically extract and install the mod for you. Click OK, and that brings you to your new Assetto Corsa launcher window. From here, you can easily find all your installed cars and tracks that are nicely split into different categories. Clicking on the three dots here opens up the Driving Options window for settings such as your Auto Clutch as well as Traction Control and Stability Control settings. The different driving modes are up here, and above that, we have settings for Time of Day, Temperature, and Weather. If you check the box for for rail conditions, what it'll do is basically get the current weather conditions at the circuit that you've selected. Pretty cool option to have to make it feel like you're the actual circuit in real time. Ideal conditions of course will just basically set everything to the perfect weather for the best possible hot lap timing. Hit the green button that says go and you'll start your race. But before that, let's move on and get custom shaders patch installed first. At the top of the window, click on settings followed by custom shaders patch. Hit the green button to get it installed and there you go, it's done. By default, CSP installs a recommended version instead of the latest version, but my recommendation is to always use the latest version. At the time of this video is version 1.79. There is a paid version which brings rain effects, but you're going to need to be one of their Patreons in order to get it. So just click on version 1.79 and it'll get installed in a couple of seconds. You'll notice a bunch of settings for custom shaders patch on the left side and all the good stuff would have been activated by default. And now it's finally time to jump straight into a game and see what a world of difference Content Manager and Custom Shaders Patch have made to your game. If you followed this simple video and got it all installed, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel. And you may also want to check out my other video here where we will be carrying on from here to get your graphics looking photorealistic.